let's be honest, this looks way cooler. <laughs> uh, what's up, guys? Welcome to episode 14, but uh, the very start of the Let's Play. So, yeah, we're just going to continue the count um, from unobtained. Looks like I destroyed. Okay. Anyways, this is a Let's Play now, no longer unobtained. So, a bit more focus on different areas. And to illustrate that stuff or whatever, just that different uh, interests, I actually spent like, I don't know, I spent a while uh, coming up with a bunch of projects we could do. I have uh, 40 four different projects that are all varying in size from as small as um, an ugly brick thing to a fortress farm. So there's a lot of in-betweens there, but there's 44 projects nonetheless. We're going to complete all of them. And I hear a slime. We should go make a slime farm. That's one of the projects, by the way. Okay, options, uh, I believe if you do this and you do that. Down here. Ah. Okay, I don't see where this slime would have gone. So this is... A fairly good bet that this is a slime chunk, right? I think I think we found a slime chunk, guys. So I didn't have a plan for what we were gonna do, but it looks like uh, we have a project, a slime slime farm. Uh, because yeah, slime is great. I mean, we have a bunch of slime from dupage, but it, what's the point okay so i'm going to make sure that this is a slime chunk and then i'm going to start hollowing this out because we heard a slime cool a beautiful hole is what i call it um yeah okay that's enough digging for me today i'm uh you know feeling like we should go do something else so uh my next little plan here is to make a uh melon and pumpkin farm and a sugarcane farm those are two farms on my Farm of four or my list of 44 things to do. Uh, so let me grab a shulker box here. I need to put a bunch of cobble in here and just this stuff in general. And we need to go find some pumpkins. We're going to need those arrows. Uh, so let's just look in our greenery box here. Okay, we need. Okay. I need to make a list of stuff to get here. Let me get a piece of paper. And I'm gonna make a list here. We need red mushrooms, melon and pumpkin seeds, potato. Let's go ahead and go get that stuff. <sighs> uh, I should have a rocket box here. All right, let's go ahead and uh, yeah, go up here. Beautiful new style with stone and more stone and stone. Nice. Uh, cool. Okay. Uh, we'll just silk touch you. And then we will... Do that to you. So we can get melon seeds. Okay, cool. So now the tough part comes to... The red mushrooms, which we can go to the nether for. But the red, or the pumpkins, not red. <laughs> Why did I say red? Oh, there we go. Nice. Pumpkin patch. Oh, is this, this is a 115 terrain. Like, <laughs> we have not actually loaded a bunch of this world, so that's good. Uh, three pumpkins. Let's get some more pumpkins. One more here. Okay, so there's our pumpkin seed situation taken care of. So we can make a melon and pumpkin farm. Nice. Okay, I uh, I adapted a design that Etho did in his Let's Play. It looks pretty cool, but it functions the same way. So just the same design as what Etho has in his Let's Play. We can collect everything, but I used uh, a design of kind of like uh, a modern growing room. Uh, yeah, I'm trying. I think I'm gonna use ends or. And rods a lot for lighting in this base. I like the way they look. They look pretty cool. Um, and I think it gives it a nice futuristic look, which 
yeah i like it anyways uh, the grass I'm going to keep is kind of the staple, but everything else is subject to change. But yeah, as you guys probably can tell, I took a lot of inspiration from Ethos base. I really liked the way it looked, so figured I'd do something similar. Um, but of course, I'm slowly but surely adapting it into my own sort of thing. I'd like to add some color, like with concrete and terracotta, so that's my next goal. Anyways... Uh, that is that project done, so we just gotta wait for that stuff to grow. Um, so the next project I wanna do is I want to go to a mesa and I wanna set up some sort of mining area, make a tunnel there, and do all sorts of stuff over there, so yeah. Uh, so there wasn't really much to show uh, going to the mesa, so I just uh, gathered up a bunch of terracotta and um yeah i tried to add it to my base and i got a little carried away but i think i think this actually looks better than the grass honestly uh now obviously the just this one color is a little weird i will say that but i think it really gives the base a different feel than the grass i do like the green grass i do but I don't know, it's hard for me to make that look good, whereas this terracotta is a lot, I don't know, just, it, I don't know, it fits my style a bit better, so we're gonna do that. And I'm thinking, if I have some red dye, that would be optimal. Well, I do have access to red dye. Let's go put this right there, and then let's get some bone meal. Let's just do like, there we go red dye if we go over here and create some red terracotta let's go see how it looks on the edges see that that kind of makes the base look interesting right okay now what is it gonna look like with orange terracotta I don't know what the lag is about I think there's something in my world that's lagging it I think there's like a bunch of entities somewhere uh, but Cool, yeah, that actually looks pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, the orange looks pretty darn good. Okay, you get the idea. I was messing with colors and terracotta and all that. Um, yeah, still no proper decision, but let's move on to that sugarcane farm. Uh, so for this sugarcane farm, uh, I'm just going to do this wall here, but I wanted to do some experimentation with you guys. So I wanted to know if you have... An observer, right? Uh, okay, well, that's not how it would normally be, but if we can QC power... Okay, so that doesn't work. Next thing I could try is probably what I would do, and it's just redstone back here, right? Okay, so that works. But, hmm, you know, it would power a lot more, which isn't a problem. So, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to test that out. So, if we go back here, we're going to need our grass blocks. Wait, how many do I want to do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fifteen. 15. Uh, yeah, that should be about right. Yep, and then... We need a little bit of room back here. Right, and then let's see, we're gonna need our water. And then I guess we'll do that, okay. And so then we want uh, blocks like that. And then we do something like this. Okay, and now we get, let's get some light back here. We do a couple down here. Okay. Now we have observers like that, and then 
we just put uh, some sort of block back here. And then we have redstone dust. Perfect. That's cool. Okay, and then let's light this up a little bit more. Okay, and we'll put like a little emergency access. But then we gotta plant our sugar cane. Like that. Okay, so the sugar cane's gonna land here. So we wanna set up a collection system below. So and I'm gonna set up a minecart and I'll come back. And there we go, sugarcane farm is complete. And as you can see, uh, everything gets picked up here. And then we have a chest down here, which as you can see, uh, hopefully should start filling up with items. I think. <laughs> there we go, it's a trap chest, I forgot. <laughs> so there we go, we get our items. And yeah guys, that is Sugarcane farm complete. So, uh, yeah, we're actually pretty close down to here. Um, and we have, if I back up a little bit, there's a little exit there, you know? I'm thinking, I don't know, where, where does this come out at? Like, right, right in the middle of the jungle? That's pretty cool, actually. I don't see why that would be a bad thing. Um, cool. So, yeah, guys, that is the sugarcane farm done. So, uh, yeah. All right, so the last thing on the to-do list that I have time for today is the ugly brick thing. So, where shall we put this? Hmm. This looks pretty good. Let's do it right here. Um, so, ugly brick thing. Yeah. All right, my idea is um, we're going to need dispenser right here and then we're going to need some bricks of course and so essentially we're going to need brick 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 and then the same thing over here brick 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 right and then we're going to have brick 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 okay now we get our brown mushroom and we put it there red mushroom and we put it there so now we get some brick slabs, brick, 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 brick. <laughs> and essentially what we want to do is we want to have bricks above this, brick, brick. So they'll spread out to these blocks. And then what will happen is this thing will Dispense water, and the idea is that let's build up a bit more of this ugly brick thing. Boom, there we go. I'm gonna do the same over here. Might need more bricks, so uh -oh. this is a big ugly brick thing. <laughs> um, okay. And then, two, one, two. Uh, essentially, all we need to do is put brick, brick. Oh no, we need more bricks. Oh, we can use stairs, perfect. Uh, let's put, come here, okay. It's stair, 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 stair. Okay, and then essentially the water's gonna come down here and we wanna make sure that the water gets stopped. So we're gonna get a pressure plate, put it there. And that will power the water dispenser. So let me wire this up real quick. And an ugly brick thing later, we have this uh, mushroom farm. So there's mushrooms underneath that block and that block, and they'll just grow. Uh, they haven't grown yet, but essentially you just stand here. Water comes. Uh, one problem is this water here is a little, you know, messed up. But we have an observer underneath. Actually, I can show you. So the wire comes up here, observer, and then it powers those uh, there. I have to wire it that way because underneath here is this hallway and right there is kind of where I was working on it. Anyways, we also captured one 
two zombie villagers, which I am going to convert. So this guy, we're going to splash pokeness weakness. There we go. One, and then here's number two. Perfect. We have two villagers that we can probably get some books from. So that's pretty cool. I just found him ar walking around in, a, in the base, so I decided to capture him. Really, no reason not to. Um, yeah, and then we have this farm. So, yeah, this episode was quite successful. Uh, things are working out okay in there. Um, and yeah, guys, I have a few uh, little ideas to, uh, I guess, explain. Uh, so my idea is to, you know, replace... I think actually the grass does look pretty good in some locations, but I think, you know, to have my own style, I think we should do a mixture of like all sorts of different terracotta or uh, concrete um, colors. And then, uh, you know, having like different patterns with concrete and just crazy colors, you know, just doing a lot of different colors. I think that could be really cool. Uh, and also, this has been working. Uh, let's see. We have 49 sugar cane uh, so far. I'm thinking about adding some redstone back here uh, where it's not just going back and forth where we can have a button to send it off and collect because I think that might be, I don't know, otherwise, then it's not fully automatic. It's kind of hard to, to gauge, I guess. But uh, yeah, then this goes down here to our, uh, a lot of our unobtained, obtainable items like the bedrock. The gapples, the redstone dust that we created, the nether quartz, god armor, uh, stacked armor, stacked stuff, portals, the box, all sorts of stuff in there. Um, yeah, so since we have a little bit of time left in today's episode, I got a uh, comment on one of my videos saying that you could put these in the nether now so we're gonna try that again uh, we need to get some eyes of ender so here's this I think we need 12 yep and then we need the blaze powder that's a six here we go Okay, let's go to the end. Oh. Or not the end, the nether, my bad. Oh, which is up this way. I'm thinking I might destroy this wall, but it's going to be a really risky thing. Um, still don't know why the portal does that, but let's think of a location, you know? Maybe we put it. We'll do it right here. This seems like a decent spot. Pigman, don't you come over here. Uh, I guess we're going to have to remove that. Ah, oh, it does work. Cool. So then we can go here. Wait a what? going on did um what whoa wait a minute that's in hold on what happens when you go through the one in the overworld that's so strange because there is another obsidian platform i can show you guys it I also decorated this room too. What? Oh my goodness. So. No way. That is so cool. It generates a new platform. Oh my goodness. We can make. This is. That's so nuts. What? Okay, that's. That's really interesting. Um. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode. 
hope you guys had a good time in this video uh, I sure did uh, be sure to comment like and uh, maybe subscribe if you haven't already or feel like it I don't know anyways bye